Hello, this is part two in a three-part video series on the eyes in uh, the Tai Chi that I do. The first one was on gazing and it had to do with having a kind of non-fixed focal point, just kind of looking out and keeping the eyes in line with the body. Uh, that's part one. Check that out if you haven't yet. This is part two and it's on switching your focal point or focusing out. Uh, so there's a way to do the Tai Chi form in which your uh, focus, your visual focus, changes from a close focal point uh, that's on your own body to a focal point that's further out into the distance. I'm not going to review the gazing part, uh, but you want to keep those points in mind about how to keep the eyes with the body. Uh, and so this is just a kind of next step of things to do. What I want you to do now is think about where your body is and have that be where your focus is in your movement. So if I'm doing a move and I'm stepping out and my hand is coming up like this, now I keep my hands, my hand here in focus. And I'll do that all the way into the end of the movement. And as I get to the end of the movement, then I switch my focus from my hand to far out in space, very much like what we did during part one with the gaze. Um, and that's just going to switch back and forth. If I take a small part of the form, and uh, right here, my fo focus is where my hand is, and as I come here, now I'm focusing out. And now I'm back, focusing on my hands. And now I'm focusing out again. And that can help in the application of the form. And it's not just so much that the eyes are moving. Now at first, as a beginner, your, the focus of your eyes will switch from here to there. Um, but later you'll find that it, as the eyes switch focus, it actually has an effect on the whole body. I usually have my students hold me here, they can touch my low back, and or uh, definitely my low back, uh, they can have their hands on my belly or not, because um, you can really feel it in the low back, but, and you should notice this too in yourself, if you have your hands on your low back, as your hand comes up, there'll be some movement in the low back here to adjust for the hand coming up, and my focus is on my hand here as it comes up, but as my eyes switch focus out, there's a further change in the low back. So the low back, the yao area, actually will change when my focus goes from my hand to out here. And I can feel that again. And if your hands are on here, you can feel that again. There's no um, trick to practicing this. It just takes practice. So I would suggest that when you do your form to practice, uh, shifting the focus in and out. There's a Another aspect of this is obviously if you have an opponent there, your focus will be on your opponent uh, during that process as well. So I may be doing a move where uh, I may be grabbing an arm here and threading through. So my focus will be on, on my own body here and on my opponent. And as my eyes are on my own body, this, it helps this area adjust properly for my own body. As soon as my focus is on my opponent, my mind will take in the opponent and allow this area to adjust for the opponent. And as I go to do something to the opponent and focus out, now my mind takes in that scenario and further adjusts to allow changes to happen to send the opponent out. Um, and you can feel those changes in your body just from the change in the focal point. So keep that in mind when you're practicing. Again, as you're doing movements, have your focus on the body, your own body, and hands. Eyes still stay with the head, of course, in line with the head. You don't want to dart the eyes around at this point. And then as you get near the end of a movement, focus out. And then as you go into a movement again, the focus is on, the, on your own body. 
where your uh, hands are, and then focus out again, and then back onto the hands, and then out again. So it goes in, out, in, out, in, out. And so practicing that kind of focal change with a constant releasing of the yaw, raising of the crown, dropping of the tailbone, you will feel these changes happen in coordination with the eyes. All right, that's about it. Thank you for watching part two, and part three will be coming up shortly.